This news has slowed down XRP. The news that SEC is about to appeal the ruling of XRP in the courts, it's slowing down the price action. It is actually bringing some uncertainty about the thought process of secondary market sales. That's important here because they're not talking about Ripple and their sales of securities. They're talking about XRP's secondary market sales, which are not considered securities because this is going to impact the entire crypto market. Now that's a surprise because that includes Ether, that includes Bitcoin. If they are to go against this narrative, that is negative. So what are the odds that they would go against this and the market would be shaken to death? Do you see that in the chart? Or is there something else which the chart is trying to convey us with this three-day candle close? Welcome to the Sinovic investor family where the normal retail guys get to learn how to become the next top 10 percent of this world we go through the market every now and then to give you the clarity you need right now the market is showing you new cycle which is starting to push in a bit of negativeness and what would be the most likely outcome here you can actually see in the price that we are looking for a slowdown. The price action did not break to the upside and you're forming something like this. You want to put it this way, that's fine. So this is XRP on a daily and it is showing you the fact that there is a micro possibility of an uneven head and shoulders. It's not clear neckline, but it is still showing you this as a possibility. But imagine the price of XRP goes up, be choppy, come back down, then again, does this. There is a higher possibility that this can be the next big start. We've seen these kind of fluctuations and then a takeoff. So if this is the one, then the two, most likely we're going to watch the three breaking above 0 0.6, 0 0.7 and traveling further to the upside so if you do look at bitcoin on a three day to put that argument okay the market should go higher bitcoin should support the market what do you see here let's keep this basic so that you understand this clearly look at the last candle which closed it's bullish why is it so look at the volume for the same candle versus the volume before that if you do focus on that you kind of get to see the long wick here to the downside on 4th 5th of august had a lot of volume selling volume right now you got somewhat 80 percent of volume of the same manner but in the bullish side so you got bullish volume but that was only 80% of the selling volume of the last candle, but the price action engulfed the previous candle. So sellers were backing out here and buyers were doubling down in this candle. If you go look at similar price points, which we have seen in the recent past, where you got engulfing candles, that was the local bottom. Yeah. There have been times you came to retest it, but you never broke the previous low. And you also gave a couple of inverted hammers, which showed I'm about to push back higher. Inverted hammers are good, it's positive, but bullish engulfing candles are better. And right now you're getting that. Now say you go on a weekly. Can the weekly support the three-day? Yeah, it can because it is showing you the fact that this particular range is starting to act as a strong support on a weekly Bitcoin chart, which is $55,000, just close to that. And you are getting a hammer above that support zone. Now, there is a trouble 
in the weekly, but we don't have the weekly close yet. But I would like to give you guys the clear insight. The volume of buyers at this support was massive. But you didn't actually get a price action which went up, engulfing the previous bearish candle. That does not actually show you we have massive bullishness just next week. It's not possible. Most likely if it is, on a weekly scenario, you'll chop around this point, you'll slow down and then bounce back up. So you zoom in, you go onto a 12 hour chart which shows you there is a higher odds of ABC and then you correcting back down to this range and then you start moving higher. Say you take Ether for that matter. Ether on a daily shows, yeah, the micro, yeah, we are looking for some kind of a correction, maybe 10%, maybe 15%. But let's see how low it's going to go. So 10% is what I would actually root for. And then the ABC, the C leg actually continues further. This is going to test the channel resistance here. And if it breaks, Ether will come back to join the XRP, the Bitcoin narrative group. Because on the XRP side of equation, when you're on a macro chart, you know, nothing actually changed. Say you take a three-day chart and what you notice here is that the bearish candle was fully engulfed and that particular candle went all the way up. So compared with the previous candles, you got more bullish volume and bullish price action. So the market is saying, yeah, I had made a lower low, but then immediately I reversed to the upside. I'm forming a higher low and I'm trying to do a higher high. As of now, that higher high level, this one, it's a speculation from my end. But the market does confirm you that it formed a higher low. It's bouncing off from that low, which has been a support for an extended period of time. So you do look at this and say, huh, that has been a long-term support point for XRP and this is the fake out. That can be the possible Wyckoff Spring event in the reaccumulation zone. You usually doesn't get that in the reaccumulation zone, but in the actual accumulation zone, we did not get the Wyckoff Spring. We did not do that here. We did the Wyckoff Creek for sure. We highlighted, we talked about this breakout and the further move to the upside, the one, two, three. Right now we are discussing this. Yeah, times have changed. The price action has changed. But if you do look at this, we are trying to form that next local support. From there, it should be the last point of support, which is the LOS here, and then you should bounce off. So those who are new to the Wyckoff schematic, you can actually pull it up easy and look through that. When you do get to understand the basics of Wyckoff, now you are looking at this and saying, okay, if this is the top, Bitcoin should show this. You don't have that. Rather, if you're looking for a bottom, then you're watching for something like this. The last point of support should come in after your week of spring. Then you go into the supply zone. People are trying to fetch for new supply because they want to buy into that asset. And this is exactly what you're looking at. Now, put the argument. Yeah, XRP will go up, but I would like to see the entire market go up. If that's you and you're looking at the altcoin market, you're looking for this. You're looking for such a corrective action first, which is just a normal dip. And then you go back up to test this level. You need to see the price action breaking to the upside there. Now, why would I root for that? Because when I do pull my indicators, RSI actually comes out here and says, it is bouncing off the lows, which we haven't seen all the way back in September, 2023. Before that, we. We didn't have that here, right? Now we go on a three-day chart. You're pulling that three-day chart up and the price is going down. The RSI is going up. The RSI broke the pattern, retested and is bouncing. So you now have a formation of 
altcoin market, excluding Ether, showing you that it is becoming ultimately bullish. So the one reversal which came in here, which was July 2024, you bounced off to test the local highs. You did not break it. You came back down to the same exact level and you're forming another reversal. Historically speaking, that's going to be the breakout zone which you want to position into. And that means in this market, you are about to see few assets breaking to the upside while some does choppy moves. And that is exactly why the SI family is rooting for the scientific investor family post on a regular basis. You need to know what the market, the general market is doing. You need to do look at individual assets. We go through all of them one by one so that you actually get to see what such divergence means. You get to see which direction those assets are going. And if you want to stay tuned into this market and use that upside, join the 1,200 plus members in the scientific investor family. You can use the link in the description below and position yourself. Go through the one-on-one -on -one session with me. Detail your portfolio. Be confident about what you're going to write. So guys, if you received value, smash that like button for me. I'll meet you guys on the next video. Bye for now.